Welcome to a special video that we filmed probably two months ago. We went to a very warm place. We went to the Dominican Republic. We are members of a Christian church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so serving others is super important to us. In our church, we have a campaign called Light the World. Every day for 25 days, our church is encouraging people to give service to others. And every one of them is based off of a scripture. Today is based off of a scripture that's in the Bible that says, I was thirsty and you gave me drink. And so we wanted to take a trip to learn all about the water needs in the Dominican Republic. And we found a charity called Healing Waters and we're able to go with them and see all the things that they're doing to help these people in the Dominican Republic. When we went on this amazing trip to the Dominican Republic, we like saw how clean water affected the lives of many people that live there. So before we show you our trip, which was an amazing trip, we wanna tell you that all the proceeds from this video, any monetization, will go toward Healing Waters. And we are also going to make a personal donation to Healing Waters because we wanna to try to raise $15,000 and so that we can fund our own water filtration system for a village. So we're gonna show you parts of our trip here. It was an amazing experience. I hope that you guys enjoy. Good morning from Dominican Republic. We are at a school right now that is one of the nicer schools in the area. The kids are so stinking cute. So rather than me just talk, check this place out. Here we go. kids are about to do a Zumba performance for us. We're gonna dance. Hey. Water from the purifying system that we saw inside of the school that the foundation healing waters puts in is serving this entire community not just the school not just the kids but the entire community they can purchase this water and then it creates a micro business so the school can be self-sustained so you gotta clean this guy up so it sprays it with a solution that has a little bit of chlorine in it just to clean it and then he fills each one and caps it All right, we're on a ride in the car. We're pretty far into the jungle right now. We had to walk all the way to this part, um, but we made it and there's this beautiful big water filtration system that's set up right here, so pretty cool. Take a look at my face. Do you see that? That is not fresh purified water from the water fountain. That is pure sweat. Now we're gonna go on the walk that people used to have to go on to get their water from the creek. But now they have the water purifying system that is in their village and even some of the homes have it that goes to their house. So pretty cool. This is what everybody used to do. This was the walk that they would take from their village up here to get water. They'd fill up their buckets, then have to carry the bucket all the way back. And if you take a look at that water, I'm sure that there's definitely like parasites and things. Like I would get sick if I drank it. And, and the people here definitely would get sick too. I mean, they've had it for 50 years. It's been their water. So obviously they're able to drink with it. But um, the water that they're using now that's filtered, we've noticed like at that school that we were just at, people's skin is actually like cleaning up the sores on their skin, different things because the water is so pure. This has been used for 50 years, this right here, up until this last March. Oh yeah, there you go. It's okay if you get some leaves in there. No, it's not. The challenge is to get, see how clean it can get. Yeah. Okay, I'm just dipping it in now. Oh, that's okay. heavy. Okay, take it back to the village and come back for the second one. <laughs> Look how much water right there. And think about people, that's what they use in this village up until March for everything. Showers, baths, drink, cooking, toilet. All right, we have secured our water. It's usually the bucket is 45 pounds, is that what it is? 45? Lincoln got about half of that, and I feel like since he got it, I need to be the one to carry it back. Look at my face, do you see that? Do you see that sweat? That's sweat right there. Okay, so the water walk is over. We got it all over here. And now the game is get all the little bugs out of the water. <laughs> 
that would definitely make you question what you did with your water. How often you got water and how much of it you use for different things. Um, you saw me carrying that bucket with water. I just ran with it and went all the way through and it was great and it was kind of hard. It was half full. You put it on your head? I did. The whole way? I, most of it. Well, like Yeah, half. most of the way. Yeah. yeah. How's your head feel? Does it hurt? It's sore. I can definitely understand why <laughs> yeah. people put like the cloth under the buckets because yeah. that, like, the buckets hurt. She's man. a little hard headed, so it didn't hurt that bad. <laughs> In this village, Lincoln was able to teach them how to brush their teeth, how to take fruit and clean fruit properly with clean water, and then we went and saw the grand opening of a village that our group funded. And so it was a really special experience. We were so grateful that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Saints and Healing Water sent us on this trip. We'll put a link in the description to a website if you would like to be generous and help those around the world to be able to drink clean water. Please feel free to go down there and click on it and donate some money. Go down there! And if um, donating money is not something that you have money and time for right now, take a look at some of the other days of the Light the World campaign and try to find ways to serve during this holiday season. Too often, the holiday season is all about getting things and about presents. And hopefully you can take time and think about others and serve in more ways than just giving a present, but actually serving others. Thank you Healing Waters for letting us go on this life-changing trip and just go in the link below and see if you want to donate any money. All right, cool. Bye. Thanks. Goodbye, Dominican. We'll be back someday.